Hello my beautiful people. Thank you guys so much for being here on my channel today. I wanted to show you guys a tutorial using my Anastasia self-made palette. I just got this a few weeks ago and let me tell you it was really hard um, to choose a look for you guys today because there's so many beautiful colors in this palette. So these are the colors there. I really wanted to use Isla but maybe I'll do another tutorial for you guys later with that color. Um, I was trying to do like a deep purple in that Isla color, but I ended up looking like Barney up in here, so <laughs> no thank you. Um, so what colors I actually ended up using, um, or what look I kind of went for was a smoky, um, deep purple kind of shimmery look. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then feel free to keep on watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't lose me out there. And I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, leave me any comments below if you have any questions, okay? Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys later. All right, so starting off, we're going to apply some moisturizer all over the face. I'm using my new Ole Henriksen Featherweight Moisturizer. Then we're going to add on some lip balm. Um, this one I got in my Ipsy bag a while back. This is the Mojito Lip Balm. I like it because it kind of has a plumping effect to it. I don't know if others experience that, but I feel like it does. And as you can see, I'm running out, so that means I use it a lot. So this I will probably be purchasing in the future because I love it. And like, where did this clip come from? I swear I have like a thousand of these in the most random places. <laughs> so now we're going to go ahead and add some Real Deal Concealer on the lids. This is how I prime my lids for eyeshadow. And then we're going to use a little beauty blender and go ahead and push that a little bit more into the lids. All right, so let's get into this beautiful palette here. We're going to start off with that kind of lighter yellow shade there. It's called Buttery. And I'm applying this all over the lid where I put the concealer so that it kind of sets it. And that'll make it so that the eyeshadows blend in a little bit better together. And I'm taking that sherbet color there, it's like a lighter orange, and I'm going to use this as my transition shade. So I'm kind of applying this a little above the crease there. Alright, now it's time to get serious here. We're going to start smoking out the eye. So I'm taking that black shade there, and I'm starting at the crease. I'm kind of bringing it to a V to the corner of my eye there. And I'm just tapping on that shade on my outer corner. I'm going to leave that middle area blank because that's where we're going to be placing that shimmery shade. So you're also going to do the inner corner of your lid. And we're going to meet both sides um, through the crease there, leaving that center area blank. And if it starts to look a little sloppy, don't even worry because we're going to blend that all out. So here we're going to go ahead and start blending so that it makes it look just a little bit cleaner. I am bringing um, that black shade out a little further and I'll let you guys know here soon why I'm doing that. Now taking this beautiful deep purple shade, I'm going to go ahead and apply that to all the areas that I applied the black eyeshadow. And not only did I use that black eyeshadow to kind of smoke out the eye a little bit more, I also used it because putting that deep purple on top of it, um, depending on the way the light hits it, it kind of makes it look a little blue. You guys will notice it here soon when I'm putting it um, kind of on my inner eye. Just take a look. And as you can see, I'm still leaving that space blank in the middle of my lid because we are going to be putting that shimmery shade there. Using my Smashbox um, face primer, I'm going to go ahead and wet my brush a little bit. Anytime I use shimmery colors, 
I go ahead and wet my brush just because I want it to look a little more foiled. So the color I'm putting on the middle of my lid here is going to be that champagne color. It's kind of like a rosy um, gold shade. I just keep packing on that champagne color onto the lid because you cannot have enough of this color. It is so beautiful. I love it. So you guys will see me going back and forth with the deep purple and um, that champagne color, just kind of blending them together. And I grabbed a little bit more of that sherbet shade that we used first off and I'm just kind of blending everything together on the top there. Now we're going to work on that lower lash line. I took some of that deep purple and we're just adding that down there. Um, I also had a little bit of black on the brush just to smoke it out a little bit as well. So using whatever's left on that brush there from smoking out that lower lid, I'm making a wing. Um, I don't want to do anything too drastic because I don't want to take away from this eye look so I'm just doing a light layer. And that's the whole reason why I brought the shadow out a little further there on my lids is because I was wanting to do that little wing. Just using the rest of what's left on the brush there and just kind of blending everything together. So I just love this hot chocolate shade here. So I'm going to add that to the lower lid as well and kind of smoke it out just a little bit more. And then just adding some black liner to my waterline. And one last step for my lower lash line, I'm adding that champagne color that we used as a shimmery shade on my lid. And I'm just adding that right in the middle to that lower lash line. Now we're going to apply some falsies. This one I put on and then it fell off. And then I just left it on the floor and grabbed a different pair. <laughs> That's how lazy I am. Um, no, I was like surrounded by wires, so I didn't want to get up. Um, so I ended up using the Ardell 21 lashes. So just adding those to my lashes there. Some people use tweezers or whatever to add them to put them on your lid. But I just use my hands. I don't know why. I just feel like I have more control that way. So yeah. So now it's time to finish up the face. I'm using my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and I'm just kind of adding that to my T-zone there to cover up any pores. And I'm using a different foundation today. I'm using the one from Benefit, Hello Flawless. And I did notice it's a little too light for my skin tone. So I added some of my Maybelline Fit Me, um, the one in the color 230, and kind of mixed that together with that one and it ended up matching a little bit better. And after I put all that foundation on my face, I'm just stippling this into my skin. And I have to tell you guys why I do my um, face last. 
it's because I have a lot of fallout when I do eyeshadows or dramatic looks so I like to do it last so that I don't get it all on my concealer and everything and then you know I totally screw up my makeup by trying to wipe it, wipe it off so that's why I do my face last. And when you're applying foundation, you want to just hit yourself as hard as you can. Just beat that face up. The harder you beat your face, the better the foundation is going to look. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> I'm using a pencil brush here and just took some of that buttery shade and I'm just kind of highlighting my brown, my brown, my brow bone. <laughs> concealer, concealer time. <laughs> Man, I am having too much fun over here, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, you guys already know pretty much how I do my face, so... I'm just kind of messing with you guys. But anyways, I am bringing that under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on the middle of my forehead, and on my chin. I also bring that down to get rid of that redness in that area. And then I'm going to push it into my skin with my new Real Techniques little sponge here. Loving this so far. Um, it is kind of hard to get right there, you know, where my nose is. But sometimes I just turn the sponge around because it's a little um, thinner on that side and use that side to kind of get in there. Now we're gonna add some mascara to the top and the lower lashes. I'm using my Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I just got it in my um, Ipsy bag for the month of November. So far, liking it. And take a look at that spoolie, that thing is humongous. I'm using my Kat Von D Contour Palette, the shade and light one, and I'm using that middle shade there and I'm just setting in all the areas that I put the concealer. And then I'm going to grab this middle shade there for my contour and I'm going to start carving out my cheekbones with this. And I want it to be a little brighter underneath my eyes, so I am taking this NYX banana powder and I'm going to go ahead and bake under there, and I'm just placing this underneath both eyes. So now we're going to finish up the contour, so I'm just putting some more of that um, shade we used on my cheekbones um, under my chin, across my forehead. On my temples and kind of connecting it where I had it on my cheekbones down there and then we're gonna blend it out I'm gonna be using that pixie bronzer um, that I used before so you'll see that here soon and now I'm just taking that bronzer and I'm just kind of blending everything together it just makes everything look a lot more natural and cleaner So whenever I bake my face, I just want to let you guys know I leave it on for like 10 to 15 minutes because I've noticed if I take it off any sooner, um, it kind of looks a little patchy. So just make sure you keep it on a little longer. Um, I'm using that little, um, what do you call that thing? What do you even call it? The little angled kind of foam thing there. And I'm just cleaning up my contour down there using that NYX banana powder. So this is kind of like a blush and a bronzer in one from Philosophy and I found it in my drawer from such a long time ago. I think it's from my mom but I wanted to use it and I don't know why that clip cut off but I'm using that. Um, also going to contour my nose using that middle shade that I use for the rest of my face and I'm just going to go down the sides of my nose and kind of bring it to a triangle at the end of my nose. And 
And now I'm using my Real Technique sponge and I'm kind of pressing in where I drew um, my contour for my nose. And it has some leftover concealer on it, so that's why I'm using it, so it kind of lightens it up a little bit. So the lines are not as harsh. And now we're just going to wipe off all that bake there. Um, I also use a little sponge and kind of clean it up even more. Now for my favorite part, I'm going to be using some of my highlighter here. This is my Champagne Pop Highlighter by Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics. I'm just adding that to the high points of my cheeks and um, kind of right above my brow, down my bridge of my nose, on the tip of my nose, and last of all, I put it right on my chin as well. So I also added some of that highlighter right into my inner corners. I just feel like it makes the eye pop a little bit more. So I don't want to go too crazy with the lips, so I'm just going to use some NYX Butter Gloss. Um, I'll let you guys know down below the exact name of it, but um, this is kind of like a nudie pink shade. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and set the entire face with my Smashbox Face Primer Spray. That is a tongue twister. Try to say it. <laughs> um, so this is just so refreshing to me and it just makes everything look so flawless. Okay, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know down below if you guys have any questions. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.